Hey, hey, what is going on everybody? This is the last video in the audio setup series that I have for my microphone here. These are all the things that I bought. Just a quick recap to go through everything that we already covered. The CAD GXL 2200 mic, uh, XLR cable to three millimeter um, jack, uh, XLR cable female to male for the actual power supply itself, the pop filter, the mic stand clamp mounting, Thing that you'll probably use more than anything else the Naughty Audio SMPS 1X power supply, it's a phantom power supply. Correction the light is blue, not red. It, it doesn't seem to actually go off when you toggle the power, it just seems to be an indicator as far as you actually have live current going into that actual box. I don't think that's a problem. I really do think that it's more of a letting you know there's actual current going in. Put the mic into the shock mount. Literally just shoved it in there. These bands look like they're actually hair ties or similar to hair ties. If these ever wear break or whatnot, uh, I read on the internet that you can actually just buy hair ties that look similar to what you would get and they work fine. Not only that, they run you about two bucks for like 18 of them, so you have nine essential shock mount bands for the price of two bucks which is not bad and the way we're going to mount this is if you remember the little black piece i told you that if you had an existing mic with the mic stand that this piece would make it smaller and more doable for the actual mount itself which is the case the gxl comes with an actual mounting apparatus itself on the on the mounted on the swivel on the swivel portion of the mic you're going to take that you're going to take the little black o-ring that came with your mic mount screw it in here but the first time i didn't screw it in right and i can tell this time I actually went in a lot better i didn't screw it in at an angle and everything is complete make sure that the threads line up before you actually screw it in and double check your work which is always a good thing to do take set end and now you got your mic set up, everything's good, all right. Uh, let me see, uh, the actual clamp for the mount itself will wind up going here. What you're gonna do is you're going to unscrew this completely. You're going to mount this whichever way you see fit, either in or out, depending on what you prefer. I'm going to wind up pointing it out just because I feel that it's going to benefit me more. I could be wrong and I might just wind up putting it in. I guess this is independent where I mount it. And there's that. So the mounting to the mic stand is complete at this point. Well, let's go with the pop filter next. It has a clamp here with a little um, angle top that has padding. So I'm gonna assume you can put it somewhere. I just need to know where. And I'm gonna figure that out. I'm gonna edit this whole part out. Don't worry about it. Well, preemptively going with what I plan to actually do and how right as essentially gonna set this up is I'm gonna find an area here on the neck that's right on the, on the front, not the back. I consider this the back since it has a mount to the front. So I would be going for this arm here. The actual angle part, the angle part of the mount fits very good in that area right there so i would just find a place where i feel comfortable maybe a little bit lower it's off camera right now um again i should organize this a little bit better it's going to be next to the spring then i'm going to tighten it up i will show you guys the end result of that all right so the end result of me mounting the pop filter looks like this the angle here just make sure i tighten it all the way down the pop filter no but you know what it's loose yeah it's loose that's not going to work all right so here goes the mount part of the problem that i'm having now is that it has a has a mount here a mount screw here that seems to be a little bit loose i can't figure it out i will figure it out but this is kind of what you're gonna have to be dealing with make sure that this bolt here is really really tight and the other part is that the actual pop filter itself actually screws into the base itself so if that's loose which 
happen to be the other case. You're gonna have to make sure that that's tight as well. You have to turn that to the right. It seems to be okay. So we're gonna go with, that is the way it's gonna have to look or it's going to look and we'll move on. <laughs> and now we get to the actual power supply itself and some of the cables that we're gonna need for that. Again, people, this is just a learning process for me. Um, I literally don't know what I'm doing, but that's part of what this channel is about. It's about experiencing stuff that's brand new, learning so we can all learn at the same time. I always believe in the thing is I make mistakes so other people don't have to, and by other means of that same uh, terminology and mythology, I like to learn from other people's mistakes as well, so I don't make those mistakes. It's just a learning process, people. This is what we're gonna have to go through. All right, so this is one of the XLR cables. The bottom of the mic is female, um, so I'm gonna need, sorry. Yeah, the bottom of the mic is a male connector, so it's gonna look like this. So I'm gonna have to plug in the female portion of the cable onto the bottom of the mic like so there's three holes in the bottom make sure they're lined up oh damn it to all all right cool and it snaps in and there goes the pop filter again make sure you place your mic back make sure all this stuff is really tight too which is the problem i'm running into right now but again learning procedures you guys can organize this better than I can. The male portion of that XLR cable, the same cable I just plugged in, will go into their two inputs. There is the mic in and the output. You will be plugging this portion that's connected to your mic into the mic in. Again, just line up the holes and it clamps in fine. Then you will get the second cable which is the actual connector that will go into whatever you may want. Again, I give myself a lot of slack because it's a lot of cable. Um, that was actually done purposefully. Uh, I know that I can manage cables a lot better if you get them shorter or whatnot, but I just, I didn't know what exact, what my needs would be exactly. And I want to make sure I had enough cable to cover whatever may came about. If I feel like it's too much, at some point I'll get shorter ones. But for the time being, I'm happy with what I got. Um, the connection for the output is a female, so you're gonna have to plug it into the male portion, which is the output. Again, just line up the holes, pop it in, go plugged in, it's absolutely fine. All right, so we got that. Got the pop filter, got the mics, got the cables, got the power supply going. Now, the moment of truth. I gotta clamp it on to the table, plug it into the camera, and I'll try to angle it in a way where I can have everything set up where it looks, uh, where I can actually have it look like something. Um, you know what? Better scenario is, I will edit the video, I will go into the room where I have my capture equipment, and I will set it up there, and I'll be back in a bit. Stay tuned for same video, part two, edit, be back. All right, so this was the final setup um, that I have. You're gonna go through a lot of personal tweaking. The video that I gave you, and I hope the glare is not too bad. Um, the, these are all just non-professional, if you wanna call me a wannabe, you know, wannabe type people. Um, I bought all this stuff. Let, let's be real. A lot of people do this for the sake of money. I have a job. <laughs> Um, this is a, a very passionate hobby of mine. I, I love doing all the stuff. Tech, doesn't matter whether I know about it or not. Gaming, stuff of that ilk. The Niners when I rant or not rant or when I celebrate in victory. Or what I like to do. I like to share. It's my channel. You know, the, 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 the money, if it comes, is secondary. A lot of it is just sharing experience. So a lot of the stuff you saw on the video for this setup is going to be a little bit awkward not well maintained not well done <laughs> if, I, if i can say that but for the most part if you guys can see you know i have the mount i, I have i have the pop filter in place uh, uh, again a lot of personal tweaking a lot of self-discovery is going to have to go into this process i kind of just gave you guys the, the simple overview of what uh, if you know if there's somebody out there who's 16 17 18 look man i'm 32 years old and, and my passion has driven me to spend money and invest money just to share those experiences. 
Um, life is too short to not want to share what you know with other people, hoping that the next generation can at least learn something from you. Um, and I'm not trying to be all philosophical or whatever. That's just the, the way that I believe and having a son myself. Um, that's just the way that I feel. I feel that uh, the next generation of people should be molded by the previous generation, but they should have some sort of um, a guideline or a template to kind of pursue what they want to pursue. And, you know, maybe I'm thinking too much of myself when it comes to that aspect of things, but, you know, people can look at my channel and see how, how much is, is progressed and to some degree regressed. Um, but the passion has always been there and this this kind of pursuits. But yeah, this is the way it's set up currently. It's gonna change when I when I actually go to record videos and record uh, gameplay footage and whatnot. Uh, sorry for getting all philosophical and stuff. It's just, you know, things make me think. It ha shit happens. <laughs> things happen when you get old and you start thinking too much. But it's clamped to my desk through the clamp. Um, and, and it's very sturdy, which is why I wanted that flat panel, that flat little washer base, well, so it'd be sturdier instead of having a point, which it would pivot on and then eventually fall off, if not within the next five minutes, within the next week or so. I angled this all up, uh, make sure everything was tight, and that's another thing, make sure everything is tight as far as your mic, your pop filter before you go and mount everything, because I ran into headaches just trying to... to fix this all out I got you know my cables here my power supply is down there um, the input from the mic to the actual camera this is actually recording the audio for this portion of the video is through the mic hopefully it sounds better I'm not sure how the audio input works on my Canon uh, T3i but it's, it's all connected it's all long there's really nothing in the way of stuff and I you know I, I kind of do like the setup it, it, it feels Hey, the, the feeling of me actually having a mic feels more professional than just screaming at the video. Sorry for, for the for the raggedy red hair. Um, but yeah, this is this is pretty much it. This is what you're going to need. This whole playlist is really just the unboxing of buying the materials, buying the equipment that you need, setting it all up. Uh, the last part, a little bit disorganized, but it's going to be what it is. And uh, yeah, so hopefully I will get a lot of use out of this. Hopefully it would make the audio for my videos that much better. And if I simply use it to Skype with friends or communicate with friends for online gaming, hopefully that this this also improves that um, that level of communication where it sounds a lot better than it would with my regular headphone mics. But yeah, overall, I think uh, mic stand, cables, pop filter, and power supply. That was roughly a hundred bucks worth of stuff. And in all honesty, I don't think it's that bad of an investment if you have some sort of passionate uh, motive to do these channels or if your your whole motive is money. You want to be the next YouTube personality. A hundred bucks to, to, to try to achieve that goal, I don't think is a bad investment to start off with. Again, I'm not a professional. I do this for a hobby, do this for passion. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. So this, is this has been Mr. KB. I hope that the whole unboxing and procedurals of this playlist has been helpful. Thank you guys for watching so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.